Hey guys, so recently I've been watching a bunch of Christmas movies that come from the US. And there's a couple of traditions that you guys do at Christmas time that we don't do here in Canada that I wanted to talk about. Because a lot of these things are really strange to me as a Canadian. And I was hoping that maybe my American viewers could clarify why you do certain things the way you do. And so I present to you the difference between American and Canadian Christmas. So the first thing that I was wondering about was I guess you guys every year take an ax out to the forest and you cut down what you call a Christmas tree, which you then take home and decorate. So my question is, what is the point in taking an ax and hunting down something that not only can't fight back, but is literally rooted in the ground and can't run away? How is that fun for you guys? You see, in Canada, we have a different tradition where we take our ax and we hunt down a moose, which we then bring back to our house, and we also set up and decorate. So it's a similar tradition, but why the tree thing? That's what I don't understand. See, this way just makes much more sense. That's why they call the holiday Christmas. Now, we generally hunt our moose early in December so that it can sit in the living room for the entire month. So by the time Christmas Day comes, it's fully ripened, and it smells like Christmas. That is the smell of Christmas to Canadians. There's actually a huge market for that smell, and even candle companies have cashed in on replicating that scent. Now the next thing that Americans do at Christmas time that I don't understand is this the elf on the shelf thing where I guess people take this little elf doll and hide it around the house and every morning the kids wake up and they go find the elf and it's doing something new each day, which I don't understand how that benefits anybody. See, in Canada, we have something kind of similar to Elf on a Shelf called Homeless in the House. So what we do is for the month of December, we just leave all of our doors unlocked and homeless people come, they let themselves in, and they basically just fall asleep somewhere in the house, a new place each day, so that in the morning time, the kids can come down and look for the homeless guy and say, oh, there he is, he passed out in the sink again or, or whatever, and it's fun for the kids. See, now this makes more sense to me because not only does it give a homeless person a warm place to sleep, but then afterwards they generally join the family for breakfast, sober up a little bit, and sometimes even walk the kids to school afterwards. So it's win-win for everybody. What is the benefit of hiding this elf toy around the house? I don't understand. And then the last thing that Americans do that just confuses me completely is this turkey dinner thing. So not only do Americans go out and murder an innocent tree and decorate it, but then afterwards they kill a turkey and eat it as well. Why are Americans killing so much? It's kind of sick. So I'm sure you can already guess what we do for our Christmas dinner. And let me tell you, there is nothing better than a month old roast moose dinner on Christmas Eve. Why not use what you've already killed? This just makes sense. I'm not trying to insult what you guys do. I'm just, I just want clarification so it makes a little more sense. But on a side note, Sarah recently joined the Patreon train, as she said she would. So I thought to celebrate, why not take my Patreon supporters on a little holiday getaway? Because I really think they've earned it. So I found this really nice and affordable motel uh, in downtown Detroit. And we just spent the entire weekend hanging out in this hotel room. And it was really just a great time. So if you'd like to join the Patreons on their trip, there's a link to my Patreon in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.